Hello mga kamestro, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, another edition of our vlog. And uh, the topic for today is about uh, PCAB license. So before that, if you are not yet a subscriber to this channel, subscribe na. Recommend to your friends. Click the notification bell. And if you're ready, then let's begin. So, welcome back again mga kamestro and uh, maganda yung topic no? kasi yung mga nerase na topic ng mga nakaraan uh, medyo related na dito sa construction no? and uh, ito pa ulit-ulit na tinatanong sa akin ng mga architects, engineers no? even uh, engineers na natanong sa akin to, kung uh, kailangan ba talagang kumuha ng PCAB license ang isang uh, architect or uh, engineer no? So, before natin sagutin dyan yung uh, mga katanungan na ganyan, uh, isa-shoutout muna natin yung mga nagpa-shoutout. No? And then, dire-diretso na tayo. So, isa-shoutout muna natin si uh, Engineer Analiza Soreda of uh, Megawide Discussion Corporation. Thank you for uh, subscribing and watching my uh, video na lagi nanonood. And uh, shoutout din dito sa ating uh, kaibigan sa Qatar, no? sa Qatar chapter, uh, kay... Uh, Uh, architect uh, Jim Boy Okoy uh, Thank you sa panonood palagi sa ating uh, YouTube channel And uh, shout out din kay uh, Engineer uh, Leia Kagawan ng uh, Megawide uh, Construction Corporation okay? And uh, to all my subscribers uh, Thank you sa continue na pag-subscribe uh, sa ating YouTube channel okay? So we go with the discussion proper The question is, uh, kailangan mang kumuha ng uh, PCAB license ang isang architect or civil engineer no? or any engineers no? uh, engaged in the uh, construction no? or uh, installation of any aspect ng uh, construction uh, of the buildings. So, ang uh, architects and the uh, engineers, generally, they are governed and regulated by the professional Regulation Commission. And uh, sa batas ng uh, architects and engineers, they have their professional capacity, they have their professional capability in the construction of building and structures. So yung pagkakaiba ng uh, architects and uh, engineers sa isang contractor is uh, yung contractor kasi pwedeng hindi architect or engineer yung owner. No? Businessman, for example, nagtayo ng uh, construction firm and then uh, mag-hire ng uh, sustaining uh, employee or technical uh, sustaining employee kasi yun naman ang nangyayari sa market. No? Pag tinanan natin, maraming mga contractors na hindi rin uh, technical background no? pero kumukuha sila ng mga architects and engineers being the uh, technical uh, employee. No? So pag sinabing technical employee, parang uh, yun yung uh, bread and butter nila doon sa kanilang uh, construction firm na in case of technical and uh, theoretical aspect ng uh, engineering and architecture, yun yung uh, kukuha ng responsibility. Okay, once na mag-sign and seal yun, yun yung magiging responsible doon sa mga gawa ng isang contractor. So, that contractor is not governed and not regulated by the Professional Regulation Commission because contractors is not a natural person. Contractors registered at the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission is a juridical person, not a natural person. So compare mo yan sa architects and uh, engineers being uh, a natural person. Ang uh, contractor is hindi sila nabibigyan ng uh, professional license from the PRC to engage in the construction of any buildings or structures. In fact, they are not allowed to... Uh, engage in designing. No? So, what happens uh, in uh, the field of contracting, like the uh, contractors, ang uh, engagement nila pagka-design and build. No? Pag kinuha ng design and build yan, dahil sa government allowed yung design and build, 
Pag kinuha ng design and build yan, pinapasa sa isang architectural firm to do the, the design works. No? Dahil hindi allowed ang uh, contractor dapat ng uh, design per se. So, contractors is not regulated by the Professional Regulation Commission. So, ang nangyayari ngayon is uh, contractors will now be uh, regulated by the SIAP. Okay? Yung SIAP is uh, Construction Industry Authority of the Philippines. So, pagka ikaw ay isang contractor, na registered ka na sa SEC or na registered ka sa DTI as a business of contracting, kailangan mo ngayon ng uh, PCAB license. So, yung PCAB license, yun yung authority na binibigay sa mga contractor, a juridical person, para mag-engage sa services of contracting. Purely contracting dapat. No? Kaya nga sinasabi ko, pagka-design and build, hindi sila gumagawa ng design per se. No? Nila, binibigay nila yon sa Uh, mga architectural firm sa labas to perform sa design and they are engaged really in contracting or constructing of the building or structure. So, requirement sa isang uh, contractor yung PCAB license. No? Dahil doon sila mariregulate na pagka ang contractor ay halimbawa, hindi nag-perform ng uh, maayos yung contractor is uh, may ginawang kalokohan. Yung uh, CF ngayon na nag-issue ng uh, PCAB license, pwede silang habulin or pwedeng i-revoke ang kanilang uh, PCAB license, pwedeng i-suspend ang kanilang PCAB license, and yung effect to that is hindi na sila pwedeng mag-engage sa contracting pagka na-revoke na ang kanilang PCAB uh, license. While in the practice of the profession of an architects and uh, engineers, hindi kailangan ng PCAB license. No? Malinaw yan sa Republic Act uh, 4566, no? yung uh, uh, Contractors License Law. No? Sa Section 14, pag binasa ninyo yung Section 14, hindi applicable sa architects or uh, civil engineers acting in their professional capacity ang uh, PCAB license. So, ibig sabihin kung uh, ang isang architects or uh, civil engineer ay nagpractice ng profession in a design and build services, hindi na dapat hinahanapan ng uh, building official ng uh, PCAB license ang isang architects or civil engineers because they are exercising their practice of profession in their professional capacity. And kung may gagawin silang kalukuhan, they are regulated by the Professional Regulation Commission isususpend ng kanilang uh, lisensya, i-revoke ang kanilang lisensya. So, yun ang pagkakaiba noon sa mga contractors because uh, architects uh, and uh, engineers are natural person na naisuhan ng authority to practice of profession and yung uh, practice of profession covers yung uh, contracting no, or constructing ng mga ginagawa nilang uh, designs. Okay? Pero kung ang architect or uh, civil engineer, for example, hindi nila sariling design, hindi nila sariling engagement, hindi nila sariling uh, transaction with the owner directly in their professional capacity, then that's the time that they are already Uh, engage in the uh, practice of contracting na dapat uh, contractor na. Okay? So kung alimbawa, ibang architect nag-design and ikukontrata ng isang uh, another architect no, or ikukontrata ng another uh, engineer, then that's the time na hindi mo naman sasabi that you are acting in their professional capacity kasi hindi na yung design and build services. Okay? So, Ibig sabihin, ang uh, pwede lang nila i-engage sa uh, sarili nila, being an architect or engineer, yung design and build services per se. Na sinasabing, transaction ko yan sa owner, and the owner decides na ako na yung nag-design, ako na rin yung magko-construct. So that is considered as acting in their professional capacity. So walang pick-up license dapat na i-require doon because they are not contractors per se. They are uh, architects and engineers acting in their professional capacity and they are regulated by the Professional Regulation Commission na pag nagkaroon ng uh, problema later on, ang katapat nun is revocation of license or suspension of their professional license. While in the uh, engagement of contracting naman sa part ng contractor, pag kami ginawang kalukuhan yung contractor, no, project acts, no, nag, nag, uh, niloko yung client, yung uh, pick-up license naman nila, ang uh, katapat noon na isususpend or i-revoke ng uh, SIAP, no yung uh, Construction Industry uh, Authority of the Philippines. So, yun ang pagkakaiba no, sa architects and uh, civil engineers. Kasi, uh, nagkakaroon ng misconception dahil building officials usually requires architects and uh, civil engineers 
to uh, procure EPIC uh, license pagka nagkaroon ng uh, design and build services no so ang nakalagay diyan sa terms and conditions of uh, per, uh, uh, the building permit no pag tinanan niyo yung, yung terms and conditions ng uh, building permit under uh, section 304 ng uh, ating uh, revised IR ng National Building Code yung uh, nakalagay diyan na if the the uh, project was uh, engaged by contract no yun ay para sa contractors per se and not by uh, the design and build services of an architect of uh, civil engineers kaya nakalagay yan diyan sa likod no so nami-miss uh, ano yan na miss uh, understood nung uh, ating uh, mga public uh, officials no na cover diyan yung uh, architects and civil engineers. So, ang mag-govern kasi, yung uh, RA4566, kasi yun yung nagre-regulate sa issuance ng uh, pick-up license and yung regulation sa practice of uh, contracting, being a contractor. Okay? So, yung uh, terms and conditions doon sa building permit uh, application form sa likod na nagsasabing if the contract is, uh, if the project was engaged by contract, that is only for uh, applicable for the contractor per se and not for the uh, architects and civil engineers who are exercising their uh, practice of profession in their professional capacity in the construction of buildings or uh, structures. So, malinaw yon sa RA 4566 na hindi kailangan ang uh, architect or civil engineer to procure a pickup license for them to engage in the contracting of design and build services in their own uh, professional capacity. Pero pagka yan ay nakontrata na sila outside of their own uh, professional capacity na sarili nilang uh, transaction with the owner, then that's the time that the architect and the uh, civil engineers are required to procure a PCAB license under RA 4566. And uh, they will now be governed by uh, CIAP no, or the Construction Industry Authority of the Philippines. So, hope that uh, this clarifies doon sa pag-require ng ating mga uh, building officials ng uh, pick-up license sa mga architects or uh, civil engineers exercising their practice of profession. Okay? They are not uh, engaged in uh, contracting business. They are ex exercising their uh, practice of uh, profession which are governed by the uh, Professional Regulation Commission and not governed by the Construction Industry Authority of the Philippines. Okay, so thank you guys and I uh, hope this uh, topic is uh, beneficial to all of you. God bless.